Uh, hey, Cheryl. There it works. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. I don't either. Are you at work? Where are you? I was going to say you were at work, but like this is your work. So I don't know. What's your, what are you up to? Yeah, I'm uh, doing a photo shoot right now. I'm working on my walk. Yeah. Did you my say you're working is... on your walk? On oh, my model walk. My walk is it's horrible lately. Uh, so I have to really work on that. Okay. <sighs> so, so how do they teach you to work on your walk? Yeah, like I have such like a hockey player kind of walk, so they're trying to teach me how to just loosen up and, you know, get with the flow. Yeah, because so, you would, as from hockey, the way your body's built, right, you would go side to side because everything's side to side, pushing exactly. off. So they're trying to teach you to go one in front of the other and be intentional, right? Yeah. yeah. See, did you ever think that years ago, these are the things you would be thinking of, like how to relearn to walk? Right? No, and it's so hard. Like, I didn't, it's frustrating, but I'm going to really work on this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think modeling, is there, do you see any similarities between hockey and modeling? Any at all? Um, maybe just being tough. Like, you have to be tough, you know? And so, yeah, like, just being, like, really strong. That's probably the only thing, though, I'd say. The only thing. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we were able to make it work. I know that you've got things you've got to do. So one of the things that we said we were going to do here is I wanted to promote your story. Your story was supposed to air last night on ET Canada, yeah. but Britney Spears bumped you. There was a new story about Britney. So William got bumped by Britney Spears. Come on. I know. Can you imagine? So, <laughs> so now... Your story airs tomorrow night because I got a lot of emails and texts and DMs about you. So you, there you go, guys. The story airs tomorrow. Um, I think what a lot of people want to know, um, what is your plan right now? Are you planning on staying in Canada or are you, you know, there's people saying, come to New York, come to Los Angeles, come to Dallas. Oh, thanks. Where, where do you want to go? I want to personally, I want to go to New York. I think New York would be unreal. Um, but like, I want to go to Milan. I want to go everywhere. I want to travel the world. So now that modeling can help me maybe do that one day, it's pretty awesome. That's amazing. So would you want a home base still here in Ontario and then also in New York or just kind of everywhere? That's a good idea. Home base here, maybe a cottage and then my normal house, maybe New York. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So I heard Barry Manilow reached out. Tell us that story. What happened? Yeah, that was huge. Um, it was just because my video, Mandy, was blowing up, and he ended up just posting both my videos that I posted on his Instagram and his Facebook, I think. So, yeah, he's being a huge supporter, and now I think he got TikTok himself, so I motivated him to do something, so that's cool. <laughs> Amazing. You motivated Barry Manilow to get on TikTok. I mean, TikTok Canada needs to say thank you very much to that. <laughs> literally, literally. That's, that's amazing. So who else would you like to collaborate with? I know we spoke about that one time a little bit, but who would you like to collaborate with in the next little while? First one that comes to mind, for, uh, I want to collaborate with Justin Bieber. Either put me in a video or let's meet up one day, figure something out. But yeah, he's a huge role model, so that'd be sweet. sweet. Yeah, so you would want to be in a music video, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Maybe like music video, or maybe we just become friends one day, you know? We're buddies. <laughs> you never know. You never can tell. Yeah. Speaking of buddies, everybody has a very big connection with you, and uh, I got a lot of questions, so I'm going to throw a couple your way. We can do like a rapid fire, because I know you've got to get back to work. All right, does this ever get overwhelming for you? That's what someone wanted to know. Yeah, it does, for sure. And it is overwhelming, but my family has really helped me, like, stay grounded. So, And I'm just working on it every day to keep being grounded and not be too overwhelmed with everything going on. Just remember, you know, I'm still a normal human being, and I'm just 
this is just a good opportunity that's came up. So I'm just trying to, um, just trying to, yeah, stay humble. But I do want to somehow, some, I want to get somewhere with this, right? So I also do have to be a little overwhelmed, put some pressure on me. But yeah, just have fun with it. And yeah, I, was, I remember. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be ebbs and flows with it, right? As in, as there is in any job, right? Yeah. Um, will you stay in Canada? You kind of already answered that. Someone wants to know, will you create a sign for your TikTok followers so that when you're super famous and you're on a red carpet, they'll know that you're giving a signal to them? Ooh, yeah. So I think that's going to be, I see a lot of my fans commenting uh, a high heel emoji under my page. It's like all the moms coming together. So that could be like, maybe like a high heel and in my lives they always send me this gift and it's a high heel it's sparkly so it's like and I like that high heel I'm like that's, I'm gonna buy that for my girlfriend one day so yeah I think that could be like a symbol you know high heels there you go someone wants to know would you date someone off of TikTok thanks would you date um, someone off of TikTok someone asked date. okay um yeah I would um, I'm not going to say who, but I would. Oh, you have someone in mind already? Yeah, there's one girl in mind a little bit that's beautiful, and I would, but like, yeah, we'll see. Future okay, thing. all right. We'll leave that to your private, that's your private life. Um, so th that was the next question. Do you have a TikTok crush? So I think you already answered that. Um, what's your favorite color, someone said? Uh, green because my eyes are green all right um let's see hold on we did that one the other day someone says tammy said she just wanted you to know that you bring so much joy to her family she's 30 and her mother's 51 and her grandma's 59 and we can't get enough you've touched all three generations of our family what does that mean to you that means so much, like almost unsubscribable how much that means to me. And yeah, like a lot of people say, well, you don't have your own age group, but like I have like, like just to have that age group, the older generation and, you know, they pass it down to their kids and, you know, they know what's going on. So yeah, that means so much to me and to have all generations, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then the last one was, what's one of your favorite things to do when you're not working? I like to play video games. I like to play basketball. I like to work out. And I like to go live and make TikToks. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, we did it. We managed to go live. I know you're in the middle of working today, so thanks so much for doing this. Your story will air tomorrow on ET Canada. If it doesn't, I will update everyone, and hopefully no other giant celebrity bumps you off and we have to reschedule. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Thanks for having me. Uh, thank you, buddy. All right, all the best, and keep us updated on, on all your success, for sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. take care. Bye, Bye everyone. Guys. So there you go. We got it in there. We got a few of your questions. Um, it's a busy work day for everybody. So there you go. Learning how to walk as a model. That's what's happening today. Yeah. All right. This has been fun. Uh, we'll do it again. Um, yeah, we'll have to think about who we'll interview next.